हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई विल टीच टू यू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन दिस चैप्टर इज द फैरडेज लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिस यू नो दैट माइकल फैरडे डू द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लेबोरेटरी इन एटीन थर्टी फोर द साइंटिस्ट माइकल फैरडे कंडक्ट द नंबर ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इन विच द ही पास द इलेक्ट्रिस नोन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी थ्रू द डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रोलाइट and he measure the amount of substance liberated or deposited on respected electrode and he make the relation in between the amount of substance deposited or liberated on respected electrode and quantity of electricity passed through the conductor or ele electrolyte that relation is called as the michael faraday's law he give the two types of relation the first relation called as the Michael Faraday's Fardel, law of electrolysis and second relation called as the Michael Faraday's second law of electrolysis. Today I will teach you the first relation that is called as the Michael, sorry, Michael Faraday's first law of electrolysis. You know that the if you take the any electrolyte solution and pass the electricity, then electrolysis process takes place. It means that decomposition of electrolyte takes place. after passing the electric current through the electrolyte let us consider sodium chloride electrolyte taken in the electrolytic vessel and two electrodes dipped in this solution and they are connected to the positive and negative terminal of battery one electrode acts as a cathode and another electrode acts as an anode after passing the electrolyte through this nacl solution it form a sodium cation and chlorine anion due to the charge present on this ions the sodium positive ion attract towards the cathode and chlorine anion attract towards the anode it means that after passing the electric current sodium is deposited on the cathode and chlorine is liberated on anode scientist michael faraday measure the amount of substance sodium deposited or amount of chlorine liberated on this anode he conclude that the amount of substance is deposited or liberated on the respected electrode is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through an electrolyte this law is called as the michael faraday first law what is the law the amount of substance is deposited or liberated on the electrode during the electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through an electrolyte how to write the mathematical relations consider w is the weight of substance deposited or liberated on the respected electrode and consider q is the quantity of electricity is passed through an electrolyte according to michael faraday law w is directly proportional to q is it not what is the q here quantity of electricity is passed on in coulomb therefore coulomb you, you know that coulomb is equal to ampere of current i into t what is the coulomb the 1 ampere of current is passed on in 1 second through the electrolyte or through the conductor the obtained electricity is called as the one coulomb electricity i understand and coulomb is a unit of charge or quantity of electricity therefore substitute the value of q in this equation w is equal is directly proposed to i into t what is the i here current in ampere how to define the ampere here ampere of current means the quantity of electricity is obtained by passing the one coulomb of electricity for one second are called one ampere of current i understand the definition of coulomb and ampere here i is the current in ampere and t is the time in second remove the property by taking the constant factor w is equal to z into i into t you know that w is the amount of substance deposited in gram 
I is the current in ampere, T is the time in second. What is the Z here? Z is the proportionality constant. It is also called as the electrochemical equivalent. Consider here value of I is 1 and T is 1 second. 1 ampere of current is passed in 1 second. Means how much electricity? 1 coulomb of electricity. Because 1 coulomb is equal to 1 ampere into 1 second. The substance is deposited, they call as electrochemical equivalent. Therefore, how do we define the Z here? Electrochemical equivalent. When you pass the 1 coulomb of electricity through an electrolytic solution, the amount of substance is deposited or liberated on the respected electrode are called electrochemical equivalent. It is measured in gram per coulomb or kilogram per coulomb. The value of some substance is given on the blackboards. You see carefully. The value of hydrogen EC. What is the value of hydrogen uh, EC value of hydrogen? If you pass the one coulomb of elect electricity through the electric solution of hydrogen, then how much hydrogen liberated or deposited? 0 0.000104 Jad. After passing the 1 coulomb of electricity. If you pass the 1 coulomb of electricity of the salt of oxygen, then we get a 0 0.00026. If you pass the 1 coulomb of electricity through the salt of magnesium, then 0 0.000126 gram of magnesium is deposited. If you pass the 1 coulomb of electricity through the salt of aluminium, we get a 0 0.000935 gram of aluminium. If you pass the 1 coulomb of electricity through the copper salt, copper sulfate solution, copper salt solution, we get a 0 0.00329 gram of copper on the respected electrodes. Or if you pass the 1 coulomb of electricity through the salt of silver, the 0 0.002118 gram of silver is deposited called as the electrochemical equivalent of silver. I understand which type of question may be asked on this point. That question as well as some important points or notes will be given below the description box in the video. Thank you.